Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sochinandan Dotto and in this video lecture, I'll talk about uh, the fundamental of stock assessment and this is the part 1 video, later on I'll uh, prepare the part 2 video. So first thing we have to understand uh, the difference between the stock and the population and the difference between the definition of stock and the uh, definition of population. These two things, the stock and population, are much more a very similar thing, but the, the, the it's very rubbery concept, and it's 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 not necessarily uh, these two things are the be same. Uh, so let's uh, see that what's the difference between these two. So population is much more natural thing. So population is a group of individual of same species living in a particular region in a particular time and they are sharing a common gene pool and uh, and in this population does not uh, belongs to any immigration or immigration means there is no migration or maybe very little migration will be in the population so that is uh, a population it is much more natural thing on the other hand the stock is a, a part of the fish population which is uh, under consideration uh, from the point of view of actual or potential Utilization. So we are prepared the stock to utilize it. So stock is uh, is is managed by us, and so it's a definition given by the record in 1975. Later on, Restrepo in 1999 gave a definition of the of stock. According to him, stock is a group of fish species of one group of fish uh, group of fish of one single species which share a common ecological and common gene pool but the stock defined for the purpose of stock assessment and this stock we are defining the stock for the purpose of the stock assessment and the stock assessment and management that do not necessarily coincide with self content population unit so that is the main difference that the population is much more natural things and the stock is much more the artificial means we are creating the stock to our utilization to create the stock for its assessment and management so now uh, we have a look at uh, the basic uh, life cycle of a fish and this very general life cycle of the fish. So first uh, the adult fish, uh, they are uh, matured fish, sexually matured fish and this adult fish uh, after breeding uh, they spawn or fertilize uh, the egg and then eggs are hatched into a larval stage and this larva grow to the jawline stage and in the after the growth of this population this jawline or reach uh, to the adult stage or the mature stage or the sexually or reproductively mature stage so this is the common in general life cycle of a uh, fish species now comes to the basic population dynamic model so in a basic population there is uh, the birth the birth is uh, adding to the population, increasing the number of uh, the size of the population and uh, that that going out of the population due to that uh, the population is decreasing. So here the basic model is the uh, population at time t plus 1. So population of uh, next year t is the present year and the next year uh, is equal to uh, population number this year plus birth and minus the m is the natural mortality so what are the process that driving uh, the population fluctuation so population fluctuation is due to the birth and death if birth the population is getting high and due to death the population going down so that the fluctuation of uh, population is due to birth and uh, death and in this model there is no migration is there because we are not considering migration in a basic population dynamic model now basic uh, same thing we have uh, make this concept much more clear to adding the biomass so biomass is uh, is is in the dry weight or the weight weight of the population or the weight of the population and it's it's adding uh, due to recruitment and the growth of the species so due to recruitment and growth biomass is increasing on the other hand biomass going down due to the death of this uh, pop of this of this population or the, this is the natural mortality so here uh, the in this population uh, the biomass at time t plus 1 is equal to biomass uh, at uh, time t plus recruitment 
it's giving uh, gaining to the population plus growth and minus mortality that is the natural mortality so till now we are considering the biological uh, model uh, of the population we are not considering uh, the harvestation or fisheries into this model so we are we are we are doing uh, this model step by step so here the biomass means uh, the mass of the weight of the fish in a given area or of ecosystem and a given time so but this this biological parameter the recruitment growth and mortality this biological parameter are totally influenced by the lots of endogenous and exogenous uh, parameter or exogenous factor like endogenous factor it's 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 depend uh, the uh, three biological parameter depend upon the fish genetics depend upon the physiology of the population or the fish species and behavior of the fish species so recruitment and growth and mortality this uh, depend upon uh, this um, uh, in endogenous factor on the other hand these three factors are also depend upon the different exogenous like the different external influencing or the different environmental factors uh, can impact on, on on the recruitment growth and mortality of a species now comes to, to recruitment so one by one we'll check the recruitment growth and mortality so recruitment means it's it's also very our concept is very uh, uh, rubbery so recruitment is a very simple way uh, to give birth or to give uh, a new ones to adding to the population so uh, young organism in a population adding due to the previous reproductive event so in the population due to the reproductive event uh, the new young uh, are coming to the population so that is uh, the recruitment and however when fish are considered to be recruit is often uh, defined to be when new individual can be detected means a new individual can be added accounted or estimated in the population but in in case of uh, fisheries uh, science uh, the stock recruitment relationship is a very important uh, factor or important analysis of basically fisheries scientists are uh, willing to do the stock recruitment uh, and, uh, relationship and uh, so uh, adult uh, population uh, having the developed in the, the gametes and then the, the spawning and fertilization take place then the larval development within the eggs and this egg are forming into the hatch and then it's uh, reached to the larval stage after metamorphosis after the development it reached to jubilant stage and the growth in jubilant stage it's uh, reached to the maturation to the reproductive maturation in adult phase and again it's uh, goes to the gamete development stage and uh, so this is uh, this 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 whole uh, life cycle in this life cycle so the larval and jubilant stage are, are much more uh, vulnerable to lots of biological or abiotic factors so biotic factor basically the uh, larval or jubilant uh, survival is different upon the starvation so due to lack of the food the larva are going to die and the competition if there is lots of larva lots of jubilants are there so they are compete to each other to take the food and the predation so in the natural population there is always a predator to take the youngs or the jubilants or larval stages always the predator is there and cannibalistic behavior is also there so do you, in the same species uh, the adults are uh, uh, it, taking uh, the jubilants or larval as their meal and uh, lots of environmental factor like abiotic factor also depend upon the, the level on jubilant survival like the temperature salinity oxygen and different other factors also depend uh, on uh, the uh, larval survival so now comes uh, to the natural mortality so mortality we are talking about the natural mortality natural mortality is nothing but uh, the fish population or die due to the natural cause so here the death of the fish species due to the natural cause like predation like disease like a different natural cause uh, so this is the competition also so and that is uh, the due to the natural population uh, death of this thing so uh, it is removal from the population okay so uh, now uh, natural mortality is typically referred to mortality of post recruitment as mortality during the 
very good man life history stages it easily dealt with the during consideration of the recruitment relationship that is the stock recruitment relationship okay now uh, what uh, how do we express the natural mortality it is very difficult to express or to estimate the natural mortality but uh, we are basically estimate or express the natural mortality as an instantaneous rate so we will check the relative uh, changes in the population the size your age class how it's changing and due to knowing the relative changes in the proportion of size or age class we are estimating the uh, natural mortality in the population and natural mortality rate is uh, critical uh, in understanding of the relative impact of fishing so due to the fishing is it impacting on the natural population natural death rate uh, so fishing is a different concept so fishing mortality and natural mortality is two different so due to the fishing is uh, it's it's impacting the rate of increase the, or decrease the natural mortality or not so in a stock assessment we often compare the natural mortality to the fishing mortality so when uh, the natural mortality is much more than the fishing mortality then we cannot tell that it is over fishing but if the fishing mortality is much more than natural mortality then we can easily tell that the population is overfished or over harvested Okay. Now, uh, this natural mortality is also fluctuate due to lots of uh, reasons or lots of factors. So, here uh, we are listing few factors that impacting uh, the natural mortality rate of a fish life. So, first thing is uh, the reduce the vulnerability of predator increase in the size of age of fish. So, if the predator uh, is a prey-predator interaction, so prey increase, uh, the predator is also increased. Then predator increase, the prey is going down. So, prey-predator interaction is also reduced uh, or the vulnerability increase the vulnerability or reduce on the natural mortality. if the predator increase then the prey is always going down so it's depend upon the prey predator interaction of it's impacting on the natural mortality of the fish species second thing is uh, the fish may uh, with out due to the age so uh, fish are going uh, to a old age due to the old age so they are going uh, uh, means die so so and they are also losing their uh, reproductive fitness and they are declining uh, due to the age so they are not able to, to reproductively uh, means to produce the young swan so that is also due to the high age or old age the population is also going to die uh, fish is going to die so and uh, next thing is the moment uh, so in a fish uh, population there is a uh, moment is there so if if uh, there is high uh, mortality is there so in, in the in the region where is the high mortality is right there then uh, there is the moment is there so if the fish uh, try to move from uh, this uh, region uh, where is the high mortality zone from the high mortality zone and then behavioral change formation of school that is a very good uh, ecological concept that the fish they are making a school to reduce their mortality rate reduce their predation so they are uh, they are protecting to each other uh, by forming a school to to avoid uh, the prey uh, predator and that is a good social structure to ch uh, changing in uh, the mortality rates and the change in ecosystem so like if a good healthy ecosystem uh, always uh, the low natural mortality rate and unhealthy ecosystem the natural mortality rate is very high and changes in the prey or habitat availability if the uh, prey is having a good habitat to hidden uh, i have shown you in the last uh, slide last video that in in, in the so if the prey have a hidden uh, hidden uh, good environment or good uh, habitat to be hidden so they can easily hide from the predator and then the uh, abundance abundance or density dependence factor if if lots of the uh, species are coming to in a place and their density is much more high so due to the high density they are you know, they are facing to inter interspecific competition and they are having maybe in cannibalistic behavior so they can eat uh, themselves so that uh, density dependent factor is also impacting the natural mortality rate now uh, the growth what is the growth so first thing uh, that growth is nothing but the increasing in the weight increasing in the body size increasing in the length so that is the increasing in the age so growth is uh, considered to be the uh, increasing in the size 
and that is basically the weight and the growth is an important process uh, to understand and among uh, the other things so uh, is here is also growth is impacting uh, lots of factors so first thing that influence of the uh, range or related the population processes like the natural mortality or reproductive mortality rate so if the mortality is very high the growth will be always reduced okay and uh, next thing is the growth is also influence the rate of the growth is also influence on uh, the size if, if if growth is there then the biomass of this population is increased so increase in size does the weight and the hence it's increase in biomass and uh, growth is also influence uh, the fish vulnerability of fishing gear if if, if basically it's the fishing uh, yes, gear selectivity so um, fish uh, vulnerable much more vulnerable to that particular fishing gear if if we are using a very small size net then the small size fish are much more vulnerable to be catch and if you're using a large size um, mesh size net then small fish are not vulnerable to catch so the growth uh, of the fish is also depend upon uh, the um, gear selectivity now comes to the final model uh, of uh, the stock assessment so where here is the full model so here biomass uh, at uh, time t plus one is equal to biomass at time t plus recruitment plus growth minus natural mortality minus catch so now in this model we are introduce our catch so till now the model was the biological only now we are introduce the catch or hover station into the model so what is the whole population whole population is depend upon uh, the recruitment is adding to the population growth is also adding to the population on the other hand death that is the natural mortality is going out from the population also catch is going out from the population and we are not considering their movement because it is very difficult to estimate one thing and the second thing is the movement is going in and going out immigration and migration so it's always constant it's not that much very so that is the final model of uh, a stock assessment biomass at time t is equal to biomass at uh, time that this year this is the next year to this year and the recruitment growth then minus mortality minus total catch now overfishing so overfishing as we, we introduce uh, the fishing mortality into the model so we have to look at the overfishing also so overfishing is uh, the thing that we are uh, uh, harvesting a lot but uh, that that is it sustainability we have to identify the sustainable catch so if 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 we catch in sustainable way that is not overfishing so sustainable catch is not a overfishing okay so for better or worse than uh, basically the uh, basic objective of the fisheries management is to estimate the maximum sustainable yield that is our objective that the, to know the what is the maximum limit that where we can uh, stop okay so what is uh, in the definition of uh, this msy msy is uh, is, is that the greatest amount of fees means or the greatest or maximum or the high amount or the that maximum amount of fees we can harvest from the we can take from this water without impairing the ability of the fees and left in the water so we are we are harvesting that much and we are keeping the, the rest of the population we are keeping in the natural habitat to be replace uh, the fees uh, you have taken out so next year uh, these, those uh, we are not taking so this population are due to growth uh, due to reproduction uh, recruitment they are reaching uh, to this level again to the next year so this is uh, the msy so the two criticism is uh, msy and the b msy so msy is maximum sustainable eat how much catch we can uh, taking from uh, the, what is the maximum limit and b msy what is uh, the maximum biomass available to be catch maximum limit so msy is the catch and b msy is the population size what is the maximum size of the population what is the highest uh, population size so that is uh, in some time the bs b msy is very difficult uh, to calculate but uh, sometimes we it's it's it overestimated or overshooting of b msy it's very dangerous then due to overestimated b msy the stock may be easily declined so that is due to the wrong estimation 
Now overfishing, overfishing also three different types of overfishing we can see. One is the growth overfishing, one is the recruitment overfishing, one is the ecosystem overfishing. Let's see what is the growth overfishing. Growth overfishing is nothing but that we are harvesting the species of the small size. We are not, not going to growth of this population because if we select a very small message, message net, the, then the small piece or the young jubilee piece will be harvested and due to this harvesting the jubilee or young piece the growth of the population is always stunned so so reduction of the fishing mortality of jubileans on uh, the outright protection and might leads to increase in the yield uh, in the yield from uh, the fisheries and so so growth over fishing is that that we are selecting a very small size net and we are harvesting uh, the small piece or jubilee piece and uh, that is impacting on uh, the growth of the total population and recruitment overfishing recruitment overfishing is that that we are harvesting the sexually matured fish we are harvesting uh, the spawner we are harvesting uh, the recruiter we are harvesting uh, the gravid females so that if we harvest uh, the mature adult fish then it's it's they are not giving uh, the birth of the young so that is also the fish is going the population is going decline so to oh, harvesting much more harvesting of the adult one so it's it's it minimize uh, the size of the fish population and the ecosystem overfishing it is a very good concept ecosystem overfishing if you harvest uh, it's it's increase the competition or dominances in the marine ecosystem so if if we if we harvest much more on the predator or the large fish that that leads uh, to the increase in uh, the number of the small fish or the small pelagic pieces so if you harvest much more on the uh, tuna or the large fish then the in the in in, in the stock you can find that there will be the in the population you can or the in the ocean you can find that the small piece or number is increasing so that is the ecosystem overfishing and due to ecosystem overfishing that is the concept is coming that the uh, fishing down the food web so if you if you if you harvest lots on the top predator fish or the top uh, level or tropic level fish then it's going down that mean traffic level is going down as uh, the top predator you be harvesting and the mean uh, tropic level down and the the number of the small fish or the hobby uh, small fish will be increased so session summary is that uh, we have seen uh, that the whole model so biomass at time t is equal to biomass at uh, t plus one is equal to biomass at time t recruitment growth minus mortality minus catch so population uh, vary naturally so population vary naturally due to uh, the recruitment growth and mortality so if we not consider uh, the catch into the population but the population is very due to this biological parameter and the scale of varies is depend upon uh, the time scale consideration so this year next year next year so it's a dynamical system and the impact of fishing on the population so if we, we that what is the impact of this population of by the sea so if we fish a lot if we harvest a lot then the population is going down so impact of fishing on the population dynamic size it's depending part of the inherent biological property and population and the confidence about the resilience and they can come back or not okay and the key talks of the stock assessment or uh, the fishery scientist is to able to estimate the relative impact of fishing on the stock that is the main thing and uh, due to the fishing or the environment will affect the management or decision or whatever we are taking by uh, the fisheries scientist or the manager and uh, at the end uh, the understanding the impact of fishing on population required to understanding the biology so that is the main thing if you want to understand or if you want to estimate the stock if you understand uh, the total stock assessment uh, assessing the stock or the know the total structure of the fisheries uh, then you have to know the basic biology first then you can estimate the all the thing that's all thank you thank you